Okay, now, story of Dead Space Extraction is pretty simple. I mean, I say that a lot, but really, it is pretty simple. It's, if I have to explain it as quickly as I can, it's a bunch of people go on to the Ishimura, just like Dead Space 1, and the whole thing is they have to get off. They get on, now they get off. Now, the story actually starts off a little bit before that. It starts off with a character named Nathan McNeil, who is a detective on this colony, and he... On the colony, you know, stuff's going on, people are going crazy because of the marker, but he doesn't know that. He's like, oh, I don't know why people are killing themselves or, like, killing other people, attacking people. Uh, so he's just, he, he's working up a whole bunch of case files and he's like, oh my god, ugh, so much stuff's going on. And he meets up with an old friend, Gabriel Weller, who is just an old-time friend, and not long after that rampage just ensues in Everybody turns into necromorphs. He has to get off the colony. Then that's where he gets off the colony with a whole bunch of other people he meets uh, and goes on to the Ishimura. And pretty much after that, the story is just like Dead Space 1 where they have to get off. But I will tell you, like, I'll tell you this. The characters make the game. The characters are actually really, really cool. I actually really like these characters. Uh, definitely better than Dead Space 1's characters. Uh, all the characters in that game I didn't really care for. Even Isaac. I care for him in Dead Space 2, but I won't ruin that. Go watch the review if you haven't. But... Really, I didn't care much for the characters in Dead Space 1. Uh, this one definitely made it up to me, plot-wise, and I really like it. I really do like plot. Uh, the Okay, plot is pretty generic, but the characters make the plot, so maybe I should make that a little bit more clear. So anyway, there's the plot. Uh, I, I like it. I like the story. Plot, story, same thing. Uh, let's go on to... Okay, now, the sound in the game also is actually pretty good. The sound design isn't as good as Dead Space 1 and 2's, but it's actually still pretty good. It's an on-rail shooter, so I wasn't expecting at all that this was going to uh, top, top uh, Dead Space 1 and 2's. But it's still pretty pretty good for what it is. Uh, the voice acting in the game is really good also. In the beginning, I was like, eh, it's kind of cheesy. Later on, it, it, it definitely felt like after you get more characters and they interact some more, you can feel the script getting much better, or maybe just the actors reading them <laughs> and actually caring much more. And I really liked I really liked it. I really did. So, you know, sound, voice acting, pretty good. So let's go on to the graphics. Okay, now the graphics for Dead Space Extraction are actually really good. For a PSN $15 game free if you bought Dead Space 2, it looks really good. And if you didn't know, this was originally on the Wii, so that's why it's not going to look as good as most PS3 games are. But, hell, for an up Wii game, it looks really freaking good. Even on the Wii, I thought it looked really good. But here, it looks really good. Now let me tell you what I didn't like about the graphics. Some of the character models are a little jaggedy. Like, uh, you, you see, there's a guy that has a bald head in the game. And if you just look at his bald head, it's just really jaggedy, very straight lines. It's supposed to be a bald head, not a freaking cube. So, you know. Uh, it, sometimes it's a little weird here and there, and some of the environments are kind of bland when you point a light up to it or something. You'll see, like, really bad textures and stuff. But uh, most, a, a lot of the environments do look pretty good. The special effects are really good, and a lot of the character models are really good. So overall, uh, I really like the graphics. Now, there's some other things here and there that I don't like. I, I just thought about it right out of my mind. Uh, like the animation in the game. Not that great. Uh, the character models, I mean, the char the main characters in the game don't have bad animation. When it gets to the, the creatures that endlessly spawn and spawn, that's where the animation gets really eh. Uh, some of them are really stiff, uh, get very repetitive. When they get close to you, they'll do the same exact tack over and over again. It just looks silly, and you just it just becomes... Uh, too predictable also because they'll be like, oh, they're going to attack like that. I'll just shoot them when they attack like that. There you go. Uh, and it becomes a little too predictable, but it's an on-rail shooter, so, you know, come on. I, you can't expect it to be not pre predictable. So, anyway, yeah, there you go. Uh, graphics are good. So, yeah, let's go into gameplay. Okay, now the gameplay for Dead Space Extraction is actually really, really fun. It is an on-rail shooter at its core, really. It's just a on-rail shooter. You don't move at all. There's some little things here and there that does make it a little bit different than a usual on-rail shooter, like all the dead spaceness inside of it. Like, uh, uh, you, you get to pick up audio logs throughout the game. Uh, you get to use the weapons from Dead Space, of course, like the Ripper, which is the saw blade gun, and uh, the flamethrower, and the plasma cutter, the, the usual stuff in Dead Space you get to use in this game, which is kind of cool.
uh, sometimes throughout the game, you can actually choose your own little path or something like that. Like there, there be my, there might be like a uh, two places you can go. You can either go to left, right, uh, forward or right or something like that. You could go upstairs or downstairs, and you get to choose which one you want to go. And I don't know. Uh, either way you go, it's the right path. It doesn't matter from what I. From from what I think, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter because I picked any random one and I was fine. I got through the rest of the game, so it's not like a oh you screw up, you have to go back. So it's two different paths, um, and they might have like some unique stuff, like uh, more audio logs or something like that, or upgrades you can find throughout the game and stuff like that, which is really cool. I really like that you can choose your own little path sometimes, only a few times, maybe four or five times, but still pretty cool. Unlike the gameplay might suggest, I did not play the multiplayer. This is some uh, gameplay that I had to get because I can't record gameplay for the PS3, so sorry about that. I did not play the multiplayer, just wanted to say that. It's probably going to be fun, I don't know, never played the multiplayer, don't have anybody else, I don't have another PS move, so sorry. Overall, the on-rail shooting action is a lot of fun. I just want to say one more thing, the PS move controls for this game, because this is the move edition, I just want to get out of the way and say they're really good, very precise. I like the button placements, the move button in the front, grab stuff, uh, obviously the trigger button shoots. Uh, you only need the PS move controller, no, no other controller, no navigation controller, which is obvious. Uh, you use your stasis in the game also, I just wanted to say that too. If you don't know what stasis is, you can freeze enemies in time, shoot them. Uh, some of the boss fights are pretty cool also, but they're all kind of the same, like shoot this spot on here and weaken them and kill them. So, whatever, it's still pretty cool. So overall, I really like Dead Space Extraction. The gameplay was fun, the story was good, the sound was good. Everything about it was actually pretty good. There was not much here that I didn't like, except maybe the gameplay was a little repetitive at times. So anyway, check the description for the full written, well, the written review, not the full written review. And thank you and goodbye.